if you do not have the fumap x plugin with you then you must watch this video to download the fumap x plugin for uh, 3ds max okay so hey guys what's up and uh, welcome to this new tutorial video so in this video i will show you how will you create uh, text on fire type of uh, visual effect like uh, this one so what i will do is first i will just uh, type in some text here just like this and insert this okay that's the first step you can select any font at here i would uh, suggest you to select a font that is uh, a little tannish so the fire would look uh, so that uh, it looks clear in the fire okay so i would select this one this is uh, looking nice one and also it is thinner so this one is better now i will be well this just like that and create an outline sorry height that's it now i would like to it has some distance and between just like that okay now i will turn it around 90 degrees that's nice okay now here it is the fume apex if you do not have the fume apex plugin with you then you must watch this video to download the fume apex plugin for uh, 3ds max and when you do that then you will have this at here so select that and then select this one and now you can draw this container in which the fire will be in which the fire will be present so just close the text inside that container just like that okay now come down to the helpers and in this there is another fume apex sub option so in this you will select the object source and draw an icon then click this and pick the object so this object is associated with this one now select this container and click this and add the object to simulation this one that's it and click this to give a preview window so that you can see what's happening now you can start the simulation okay so here i go here you can see it's very high it's very low resolution so this will happen in your case also so you will have to reduce the spacing that will give you more detail that is available in the general tab here okay so now i will run it again there you can see now it is looking much nicer now it will take some time okay so now you can see the fire is spreading a lot over the text and the text is becoming invisible so i will cancel it and 
you can see the simulation up to there you can render it there it is but the text is not clearly visible here in the simulation tab there is expansion and just reduce that to 2.5 and now I will run it again okay so now you can see that uh, the smoke that is produced is cut off at here and the reason for that is the container is the container boundary is reaching at there so it is cancelling the smoke out of it so so i will cancel it at here to make it right you can see there is not much of the fire at the bottom of the text so I will just drag it up and uh, so this will give us some space at the top actually we have to keep the container small enough so that there is uh, less pressure on the simulation okay guys so here it is it's finished and uh, it's still clipping off there at the top but uh, we can adjust that later after the simulation also and the render tab here so if you render this now you will see that it is clipping off at the top Now here under the render tab and in the smoke panel there is opacity. You can turn off the automatic update so it will be a little faster. And change the opacity to smaller. Okay, so now I will just zoom into it and now I will render it. And there you can see now it looks uh, nicer. So actually, there is some pixelation at here, and the reason for that is you will have to increase the spacing and it will and uh, in turn it will increase the simulation processing so that's how it works and uh, i'm sure you would have got the point so uh, work on it and uh, if you have any questions you can ask in the comments and uh, make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching